In this video we're going to talk about the formula we use for declining balance depreciation and I just want to mention that a while ago we spoke about appreciation. Now appreciation is the opposite of depreciation. It's where things increase in value whereas depreciation which is what this lesson is about is where things decrease in value. And the way I remember it is depreciation starts with D and decrease starts with D as well. Anyway, if we look at the formula, it's actually very, very similar to the compound interest formula, which I'll just write above it. A equals P uh, bracket 1 plus R to the power of N. And you'll notice the thing that's, the only thing that's really different is one has a plus and one has a minus, which kind of makes sense because this formula here is talking about things that decrease in value, whereas the formula with a plus is talking about things that increase in value. Alright, so a little bit about terminology. S stands for the salvage value, which is the value of the item at the time of sale. Alright, so if you have a car and five years later you sell the car, that is your salvage value, what you sold it for five years later. The next thing we're going to talk about is this letter V with a subscript of the number zero. What does this represent? It actually represents the purchase price. So if you purchased a car for a certain amount, this would be what V with the subscript zero is all about. Now why do they do this? It seems a bit odd. Why do they not put P for purchase price? Well the reason they do this is it's the value, V for value, of the item when n equals zero. This is where the zero comes from. What's this talking about? Well, n equals zero is talking about the time. It's the point at which zero years have passed. And if zero years have passed, this is when you first purchase the item. Now, this terminology can come in handy in other ways. For instance, if you want to talk about what the car is worth after one year or what the car was worth after two years, you can start using different subscripts. V1 represents the value after one year. V2 represents the value after two years. So it can come in handy if you want to use this terminology for other years. Anyway, the other two letters we're looking at are R and N, and we're not going to really talk about that. We've spoken about this many times. R is the interest rate and N is the number of time periods. Anyway, we've got a few examples that we're going to go through in later videos. That concludes this video just introducing the formula. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.